Hey guys, if we look, we can see that the clock shows that it's perfect in that. That's a good time. But now it's 12.01. Let's open the world up. I think it's time for a little bit of soothing Warcraft 3 World Editor. Now what we want to do when we get started here, let's go ahead and take a tropical vacation. Somewhere in the water with a lot of sand. That's right, a lot of passing. Look at ourselves. An interesting little map. With some interesting dimensions. That's right. What we're going to do is make the first thing that comes to our mind on our little tropical vacation tonight. And to that end, I we'll think we'll probably want to have some little islands. Mm -hmm. Should we get it? Should we get it? You may notice that tonight we have a new map this week. But that's alright. Once in a while, it's good to make a new map. Have a little bit of fun, you know? Should be good, should be good. So here we got a little bit of grass. I always like to put a little grass on some of these islands. Give them a little bit of character, you know? You can get some shrubs, some rocks. Let's just start with a little bit of rock here. Some rocks, some rocks and water. That's right. We have rocks, we got some shrubs. Some shrubs over there. Oh, we got some shrubs over here. That's right. Now that we got a little bit of character, let's go ahead and put a couple of plants. Of course, we're going to need some trees. Then we got to ask ourselves what are we going to do on our little island? You know? It's a good question. There's a lot of options, a lot of possible options of things we could do on a little tiny island. Give us some brainstorming. Let's go ahead and give ourselves a little character. But how about a little peon, just like that? But maybe it won't be any peon. Maybe it'll be a peon named George. And we'll just type him in. Give him that little name right there. That's right. Let's name him George. Now we got George. So we're going to replace the other peon with the peon George. George needs to have a couple things to make him special. Let's go ahead and give him a couple of special qualities. In addition, I think George ought to be a hero. So let's go ahead and export our unit settings and make George a hero because I'm not running wax today. George, right there. Just right like that. And we'll just go to Documents and go to Warcraft 3 Maps. We have our George file. If you ever want to make a unit a hero, you can always remember. Just go in here, activate the Insert key, and capitalize the lip. And that's all it takes. I right like that. Now import back in. Import back in. And now, George is a hero. That's right. Let's give him some hero skills. What can George learn? He can probably learn bash. Let's give him a bash that has a special little icon. Because he's not just any George. He's George with a mining pick. So let's give him a rusty mining pick. That's right. Because he's a little peon. He needs to have a peon bash. Other abilities for George could include some other interesting things. We might want to give him, uh. Well, you gotta ask yourself, what else What else can a peon do? That's a good question. One thing a peon might want to do is to have the ability to uh, build a building. Maybe we should give him a hero ability to build a building. It could be pretty fun. So do that. Let's go get build tiny. That's right. Makes me wonder if we have the tiny great hole. What bit is that? It is. A I B G. Build tiny great hole. Curiously enough, has the icon of a town hall. There you go. So let's change it up. Let's make it build us a warm mill. That's right. Oh four. Four, 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 and do four. There you go. So now we got the ability to build a tiny great hall, but I guess we probably want to reset the, the original. That way, we got a good, unique circumstance. That's right. Got ourselves an interesting ability. Now it needs to be a hero ability. 
so we can give it to our hero. Looks like this. I think I need to do that. Oh, there we go. I didn't uh, didn't copy the right text. That's right. You gotta get the gotta get the copy paste going on here. So what happens when we uh when it's midnight? Everybody makes mistakes, but that's all right. That's 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 fine. That's fine. Got uh, got good use of that Windows clipboard. There you go. An interesting thing you always gotta ask yourself in life. So how you want your your workstation to be set up? Now my computer workstation actually has lately been a uh, an environment where I was standing up to work. Tonight I'm sitting down, so I'm going a little bit slower. But that's all right. Just relax a little bit. You know, we'll set up George, we'll give George our abilities, and we'll give him that ability to build a warm mill just like that. We still gotta give it a nice little tool tip so we know what our ability is. For that we can say warm warm mill. FFCC00 level percent D. That's right. Builds a warm mill at the target location. There you go. Gotta give it some levels. But to do that, we're gonna wanna give ourselves a custom little text here. That's right. FFFCC00. That's a good number. That's hexadecimal right there. Just looking at it, I can already see this nice little shade of yellow orange. That's all right. We level up this ability. We're going to have it increase the cast range. That's right. Give it a little bit of mana cost because it's a hero ability. There you go. Ooh. Now George has Bash, Build War Mill, and how about we give him a little bit of Battle Roar? That's, that's all pretty good. Keeping in mind, of course, the Battle Roar has four levels, and we only want it to have three. There we go. That's right. As an ultimate skill, we're going to give him Reincarnation, because nobody wants him to die. But to that end, we got to ask ourselves, is it the right one? There's AO Ray, and there's. Oh, not A and a C Ray. Nope, just AO Ray. Well, AO Ray will be the right one. There's a second one. If you do, check out the uh, Manoroth character right here, you can see Reincarnation Manoroth. And I believe there's even a third one. But I'm not entirely sure what the use case of the third one is. Got uh, ANR2. That's what it is right there. Curiously enough, ANR2 is notable because it does not require. A level six, which can throw you off a little bit if you don't know what's happening. All right, well there you go. We got we got George over here. We got George's abilities. So now George is ready to go for an interesting little George adventure. It makes you sort of wonder though if George needs to have a little bit of hero glow. That's right. So let's go ahead and open up the eclipse. The eclipse will give us a little bit of hero glow on George. That should be pretty fun. One of the most important things we're going to want to do here, as we do the first thing that comes to our mind, is we're going to reforge George a little bit. That's right. We're going to reforge George. Just you wait. we got our system loading up right here. There we go. So we're going to load a little unit. We're going to go to the Orc tab. We're going to get us some George, so we can reforge George. Now, in order to reforge George, first off, he's going to need some Hero Glow. We can take that from Palette. So we'll just go to the Select Component function, copy that Hero Glow, I'll give George a little bit of Hero Glow, just like that, that's right. Now that George has Hero Glow, we got to reforge George. So in order to reforge George, the trick is going to be, we got to go to the tab, George Portrait. See, this this tab has a nice little, uh, nice little peon head there, so if we click on that, you'll notice that we can select it all at once. That'll be George's head, just like that. But George here, he's got a uh, he's got a low resolution head, so we're gonna we're gonna have to replace that head and reforge George with this head right here. Link it on to uh, George's head, and we'll move it right into into place, just like that. That's right. Take George's head, bring it over here, 
And now we can say that we have definitely reforged yours. That's right. And once we got it there, of course, we gotta we gotta hide the other head. So to do that, we're gonna click it, click delete, just like that. There we go. Now we got reforged George. Should be good. The one other thing we might want to do, reforge George, is give him some of these nice old paladin clothes, just like that. But to do that, of course, we gotta we gotta get the clothes to have their uh, point of origin. Their point of origin will be coming here from the uh, shoulders. So we'll just expand that out. Pop over here, and we see we got some of these. Should be good. We'll just get a couple of those. And a couple of these little dots. Just like that. That's right. Now we'll copy that. On a George. We'll do Control-V. Give us a little paste right there. Just like that. Looks like we're going to have to... Uh, Move it around a little bit though, make sure we get it in the right spot. That we want to be able to make sure we click on these little boxes and do everything exactly how we want. That's right. Reforge George is gonna have a little bit of a glow on his uh, pickaxe right there. That'll be that'll be good, that'll be good, just like that. One interesting thing we want to do is go ahead and go to each of these and set the parent. Got to set it to that right hand. That's right. Hand off. Maybe even X handle. Yeah, just like that. And if we check our guy here, Reforge George, seems like he's got uh, a little bit of animation. Maybe not. That's okay. If not, I just have to. Update a little bit more. There we go. Seems like he's doing pretty well. We got something up there. Gotta wonder what that is. Looks like that's uh, the teeth of Reforged George, which didn't get moved into the right place. Let's go ahead and move them back down. Take a look at uh, this guy here. We can see that uh, they're supposed to be right there. Looks like we missed them. Sometimes those sorts of little things happen, but that's okay. Just move it back down here. Go back into place. That's right. It's right in there. Back in place. Just, just right like that. That's right. Link it back. Make sure it moves with his head. That's right. And that's a reforged George. But it doesn't look like his, uh, his hand glows are working right yet. So let's go ahead and save our work. Give ourselves a uh, save point there. And we'll Double check, see if we can fix it. There we go. These modern computers have five different documents folders. That's always kind of fun. Someday everyone will be back on Windows XP. But that day is not today. And that's okay. We're going to name him Reforged George. There you go. That's right. Open him back up. Reforged George. We're going to check and see how's that animation doing on that, on that glow. Looks like the glow's still not animated on his hand there, so we still gotta do that linking process. Make sure it links correctly. Figure out what's happening. To do that, uh, looks like we go to his right arm. Go down here to the axe handle. And see that these are here. Just like that. Seems like it might be an issue of uh, linking. That's right, this needs to link, so. What do we, what do we have here? This is uh, 213. 1415. Alright. Simple. Nice little numbers. We'll just link this guy's 15. Go ahead and click OK. This guy here is going to be 14. That'll, that'll do. Just like that. And now we're going to now we're gonna pick this one here. This is going to be 13. Then we'll have one more. That's right. This one here. Go ahead and set that. Now I think Reforged George is going to be ready to go. He's got a really nice glowing pickaxe. That's right. It almost seems to me we want to move his glowing pickaxe. Get it uh, in exactly the right spot. You know, it never hurts to uh, take a simple thing, take your time in life, and 
make sure things are how they need to be. It'll be the most fun. There we go. I think that is Reforged George. Let's go ahead back to the uh, portrait file, of course. Now, Reforged George is going to need a portrait, but we don't really want to bother to put that uh, portrait in as a separate file. So let's just put it in right now. That's right. Just go in here, bring in all the data, and go ahead and click Invisible and Exotic. To that end, all of these, we'll just, uh, we'll just undo this automatic setting. It doesn't matter. And we should be good to go. That's right. There you go. Now he's got some portrait data. It's right there in that same model. That's right. Now we got Refor to George. So let's go ahead and save our work. We don't even need to do that save as. It's even easier than I wanted it to be. That's right. Let's save our map. What are we going to call our map? Well, it's always a good question. Let's call it Reforge George Vacation. Because he's taking a vacation on the, on the island. That's right. I'm going to go ahead and import us a little Reforge George. That's right from in here. Reforge George. That's right. We can go to George Reforge. Give him our little Reforge George character. There we go. That's, that's, that's a pretty good guy. Since he's a hero, he needs to be a little bit bigger. There you go, Reforged George. This is going to be a fun little vacation for Reforged George. Now we got to ask ourselves, what is Reforged George going to do on his vacation? Seems like maybe what he's going to do is talk to some friendly night elves on the beach. So let's go to the night elf runner. Go name him. Beach goer. Because they're going to the beach. And we'll get some nice little night elves on that beach. That's right. Of course, the little night elves—they're going to be—they're uh, going to be a second player, which means we got to set up a second player. That's right. Now we got two players, but we also want to have the uh, the people who aren't on the beach, the people who aren't having fun. Got to have data for them, so we're going to call them. The party poopers, because they're pooping the party. But that's okay, because we got the beach party people. Reforge George is one of the beach party people, as you can tell. Got to enter our names in a second time here, so we got them uh, ready to go. Yeah, that, that should that should do that should do just fine. There we go. Got ourselves some nice little beach goes. We start to wonder, should our little beachgoers have some kind of special animation for themselves? I don't know. That's a good question. To decide, let's go ahead and make a little beachgoer character. It's going to be very simple. We'll just click in here, click on the little night elf, and let's replace that little scroll with a seashell. Because a good beachgoer is going to be picking up seashells. That'll be good. Seashells by the seashore. That's right. Seashells are going to be in probably water right here. Perhaps environment. I believe it was environment. So as you can see, this guy here needs a little search function. But it looks like Control F is trying to make a face. It's not going to search. And that's alright. Sometimes software just isn't there yet. But that's okay. Things will work out. Because we got the little shells button right here. We'll just, we'll just double click that and make sure it opens up. And we got a seashell. That's right. It also loads all the different seashells in case there was a particular seashell that was our favorite. Let's go ahead and go back to that one there. That's a mighty nice seashell. So we'll put that in the hand of our uh, beach goer. We'll just go ahead and select connected components. So we can just select that scroll, delete that out, paste in that seashell right there. Just like that. Give a little rotate. Make it a little bit smaller. There we go. That's a good seashell. Let's make sure we get it rotated around. And we'll stick it right there in her hand, like that. That's right. Yeah, just like that. We'll link it. Get it all set up so it's linked with the right hand. There we go, just like that. And now we've got ourselves a little beach goer carrying around a seashell. There you go. Seems nice, seems nice. Let's go ahead and uh, put a portrait in this one too, so we don't have to worry about that. So we'll just go ahead and click this button. And here again, we'll 
click this button and then we go to these and uh, set these back to their default because it saves file space, you know. And we should be good to go. We've got ourselves a little beach boat. There we go. And now we should be good. Put our beach goer into here, along with Reforged George. The map is still using just another Warcraft 3 map. In the description dialogues, we're going to have to rename this to Reforged George Vacation. This is going to be a good vacation. We'll give ourselves a little loading screen, so if we ever come back to play this map, we'll get a little bit excited, you know, a little bit, a little bit excited. Reforge George Vacation. This is gonna be a good vacation. There we go. That's right. Don't need that. Yeah, we should be good to go. We'll go ahead and save our world. Get us a good environment going there. Yeah, this should be good to go. Just like that. Now we got the beachgoers and they're carrying around the shells. Seems good to me. Got ourselves an interesting little character. There you go. Now that we know the shells are in environment, we can go ahead and stick some shells out here too. Perhaps they're uh, shell collectors. Maybe so. To that end, we probably want to have a shell item that we can pick up. But let's give it uh, let's give it some interesting properties. You know, a shell needs to be. Uh, Needs to be a good item for you. There we go. Let's see. We get uh, we get one of these. There's a little shell like that. That way, reforged George will be able to pick up some shells and have a little something to do. That's right. That's right. Well, just right like that. So now we gotta ask ourselves, after Reforged George visits with the little night elves on the beach, what else is Reforged George gonna do? And that's a good question. He's probably gonna wanna go on a uh, beach adventure. So we gotta ask ourselves, what is Reforged George gonna find on his beach adventure? To that end, we're gonna have to make a little bit bigger island out here. Something a little bit more interesting, kinda like that. That's right, just a few clicks. We got ourselves a nice little island, just like that. Put some grass on it. It should be pretty good to go. So going along, fiddling around, fiddling around like that. Now we'll get a couple of trees. That's right. We have to remember, of course, this is just an island vacation. And so it's likely that Reforge George, when he gets over here, he's going to know that even though there's a little bit of battle, it's not really a serious battle, it's a relaxed battle. So that's why, if anything bad happens, we're going to need a way to revive Reforged George. So let's go ahead and give ourselves a little Reforged George place on the beach, a little revival place. We'll take the Altar of Storms, it's able to revive Reforged George, and we'll change that up so it looks like a little voodoo lounge. So we can call it the Beach Lounge, that's right. Beach Lounge, that's right like that. We'll make sure the Reforged George is free to bring back, so he's not going to have any sort of cost, any at all. That's right. Just not right there. Oh. Got to make sure I get the right one. There we go. The cost. Just ride like that. Set back to zero. Now that we got that, the Beach Lounge is going to be able to revive Reforged George. And we're going to say that the Beach Lounge is always going to be there. It's a part of the beach. No one's ever going to get rid of our Beach Lounge. And that's... That's a good thing. We don't want anybody to get rid of our beach lounge. We can set it right here. In fact, we might even make it George's beach lounge. There you go. George's beach lounge. Right like that. Now we should be good to go. But we still want to put in a little bit of a interesting challenge over here for George. To build our interesting challenge, we're going to have to give ourselves a little challenge place. That's right. So let's... Let's see if we can make a little challenge place over here, something like, right like that. Put in a little bit of uh, interesting stonework. Set up the challenge place and give ourselves a little bit of a wall. Perhaps the challenge place was made by the ancient people. There you go. That's right. Now we need 
something to happen in the challenge place when you go over there. A challenger to challenge George in the challenge place. So for that, let's make a challenge place man. Drag the from drag tool. Okay, drag tool. This is gonna be challenge place man. It's gonna have none of those abilities. Let's give him uh, let's give him a new ability. Let's give him select you. Maybe select here. It's gonna have an item. It's gonna be kind of like the gold coins, but it doesn't give any gold. It's gonna be called Ask for a Challenge. That's right. It's gonna it's gonna give a beach party challenge. It's gonna give a beach party challenge. Right, like that. There we go. That's right. Needs to have a good icon. So we know. That's a good challenge. That's right. Challenge placement is going to give us the option to ask for a challenge. That's right. Ask for a challenge. There we go. And we have to put in our little beach placement. It's going to be part of the beach part. And we'll have to set up a little function here to create the challenge. There's a challenge. That's right. Give yourself a little vents. Ask for a challenge. So that's right. Should be pretty simple. Whenever you need, picks up an item. An item is asked for a challenge. Item type. An item we picked up is asked for a challenge. You know what to do. That means it's going to be time for a challenge. That's right. Create one random challenger. That's right. We're gonna make them some of the brown people, some of the party poopers. We're gonna give them a little uh little spawn location right here, right like that. That's right. We gotta keep in mind, of course, that the challenge place man, he is not a part of the challenge. He's the manager. And nobody gives the manager any trouble. So we gotta set him so that he doesn't do anything. That's right. There we go, right like that. Now we got the challenge place, man. We got the ability to ask for a challenge. But then we're gonna start to wonder what happens when we need a tough challenge. So we're gonna be able to ask for a tough challenge. When you ask for a tough challenge, it's gonna be uh, gonna be tougher. So we're gonna have that here. Ask for a tough challenge. That's right, like that. We're going to be able to ask for a tough little challenge for, our, for Reforge George, and that's going to give us a little bit tougher challenge. Just like that, that's right. And let's go ahead and save that up. And give it a shot. Let's see if we can give it a test to have a little bit of fun. That's right. Reforge George vacation. This is going to be a good vacation. I think we did a good job today, folks. Look at that, it's George. George is level one. And our beachgoers, they have their little portraits too. Yes. Everything's loaded just right how we want it to be. Okey Looks like Reforged George is still able to build buildings. That's pretty funny. But that's okay. Let's learn how to build a war mill. But we don't have much mana. That's okay though. He's Reforged George. Seems like. If we were going to spend more time, we'd probably want to have a way to interact with those beach party goers. But maybe not today. They're having a good time. They look like they're having a good time. So we got to take a little walk over here through the, through the weed through some water. And I think George is having some fun. I think George is, looks like he's having a good time, doesn't he? Let's go ahead and uh, have George build us a little building. Ooh, why not, you know? There we go. Now George will have a little place to come back to if he ever needs to get away from the challenge. That's right. It's a challenge place, man. Looks like we didn't include the option to ask for a tough challenge. So we'll have to uh, have to add that back in. But it's going to give a beach party challenge, right? Like that. That's right. 
All right. Let's hope George is ready for a challenge. But George doesn't have an inventory, so we're gonna need to uh, we're gonna need to set our map again. That's all right. It's the nice thing about it. When things don't work the first time, you just try, try again. That's all right. Challenge placement it needs to, to give us the option to ask for a tough challenge too. But I think George needs to have the abilities of a hero. Seems like maybe we'll get rid of some of his other abilities too. So he probably doesn't really need those. So given that hero's inventory, make it more of a right sort of hero. That's right. Now I took away his ability to build, but we still want to be able to build those war mills. So let's give George a little bit of mana. Just right like that. We also want to have build war mill. Have a good research icon like that. That'll that'll be good. That'll make it look how we want. Now that we got some good stuff, I'd say that one of the things George needs is uh, a nice little boat so George can get over to the challenge man in a little bit of a hurry. So for that, let's go ahead and uh, get us a boat here. Call it uh, George's Beach Boat. There you go. George's Beach Boat, right like that. Go we'll ahead and go in here. We'll give George George's Beach Boat. That beach boat looks a little bit like an undead beach boat, though. So let's go ahead and change it up. Let's see if we can set it to uh, one of these. There we go. That looks like George's beach boat. That'll be good. That's right. All right. George gonna get in his beach boat. He's gonna get there fast. That's a good thing for George. That's how you get around in style. You get a beach boat. There we go. This is going to be a good vacation. Take a little ride in our boat. On over to the shore. Pull it out, George. And George is going to try out the challenge from the challenge man. Yes. In the challenge place. Okay. Right over here. Now for backup, let's go ahead and get ourselves a neat little warm. That's right. There we go. That's a good hero. Looks like to ask for a challenge, we're going to need a little bit of money. But that's okay. We got a little bit of money. Let's try it. Nice little challenge, right? Like that. Looks like this, uh, this party pooper is really trying to poop the party. So let's see if we can hide behind the, uh, the middle over here. Seems like things didn't go so well for Reforged George. But that's alright. That's why we got George's Beach Latch. Looks like we need, uh... Looks like we need more farms for George's Beach Lounge, though. We can do that. Let George's Beach Lounge have a little, uh... A little bit of farm function in it. There you go. It also seems like, uh, George needs a way to get more powerful. But I think I have an idea. Do you have an idea? Do you know how George will get powerful so he can beat the party poopers? I think I know. So let's run this one last time. Give ourselves a little bit of uh, money so that we can uh, not have to use the keys or so. And have a good option to start that challenge here. Let's hope those beachgoers don't take it from us. And we'll see if we can, uh, can we overcome the challenge. Seemed like the first time I tried. I didn't have very good luck, so I think we should hang out with the beachgoers a little bit to complete that challenge. Let's do it. The beachgoers remind us of the power of shells. I think the power of shells might help us with our challenge. So we'll just pick up a couple more shells, just right like that. Seems like maybe we also want to have one of these nice little skills, like the pickaxe bash. That'll be good. Let's get in our beach boat one last time and ride on over to the challenge. That's right. I think we might win our challenge today. I think it's gonna be uh it's gonna be a close challenge, but I think we got it. This'll be a good vacation. And if we win the challenge, I think we'll celebrate. We'll end the video and I'll let you head back to your life and have a good time. Knowing that we're winners of the challenge. And if we don't win the challenge, that's okay too. We'll just keep moving forward in life. Try to live our best that we can. 
Yes. Look at that. We are gonna win this challenge. That is right. I'll try. What do you want? Looks like our bash came in handy. We stunned that yes. little Murgle. Mm -hmm. He's not gonna poop the party anymore. That's right. I can do that. We are the winners of the challenge. And I hope you have a good night.